Hi, and welcome to what will hopefully be the last episode of the camera slider. Today I'm going to assemble the camera slider so it will be completed. I have 3D printed uh, electronics cover and I have 3D printed a new holder for the Bosch 12 volt battery. So come closer and I will show you. Here we have the assembled camera slider. This is the battery holder for the 12 volt Bosch battery which I 3D printed and uh, you can see here on the pictures I had to grind the insides to get the battery to fit and I used two connectors on the bottom so I can get the power out and to the camera slider. The battery goes in the holder like so and there it is. And here I have the new electronics cover for the camera slider it's going to go over like this and have the Bosch battery holder in the side like this. Now I have to assemble all this and place all the electronics where it's going to sit. So I will get a good fit with the electronics cover. There we finally, finally finished the camera slider. Here it is. I'm really happy right now. Uh, I haven't tested it properly yet. So, with no further ado, let us test it out. I'm really happy with how the camera slider works now. You have seen some test footage. Uh, I have a couple of problems with it. I want to reprogram the Arduino so this potentiometer uh, is more sensitive. So I can adjust the camera pan a little bit more uh, precise. The next thing I'm going to do is to make a hole here so I can plug in the USB in the Arduino without taking off the cover. And one of the biggest problems I'm having right now is that you see the ball joint is, uh, is wobbly. You can see the bearing is, is wobbly. I'm going to try to fix this now by making a wooden plate on top here which will go around this ball joint camera mount.
I'm very happy how this uh, turned out. Uh, it's uh, much more stable. I'm not so happy with how this hole turned out, but uh, I now have the possibility to uh, reprogram the Arduino, which is inside here. In a future design of the camera slider, this hole is going to be in the design and uh, everything will be much nicer. Now I'm going to uh, program the Arduino a little bit different because I want less movement in the ball joint when I adjust this potentiometer and maybe I will do something with the speeds also. Thanks for watching. Please support me by visiting the links down below and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye!